Hi there, good folks of the internet. Chris from Red Deer Games here again with another game explanation video. This time we want to present you Trash Quest, cute, complex and challenging platformer game, which is made by Francis Vase, and you will be able to put your hands on it on Nintendo Switch and Xbox consoles this December. Trash Quest is something you might call compact Metroidvania. <laughs> yeah, but what it means? Well, it means that it's got everything fans of the genre love without unnecessary distractions. Open world to explore, tight and precise platforming, closed paths and rooms to discover, progression system with upgrades to unlock, and you know, that juicy retro vibe on the top. The action takes place on the board of Deliverance Space Station. While the crew is ready for a long journey to Tau City being settled in their cryopods, the AI on a ship during system check has detected uninvited guests. And you got it! It's a small, filthy raccoon with simple purpose in life. To collect as much trash as he can. But this time his task won't be that easy, since defense systems don't allow to take another passenger on a trip. Well, Trash Quest delivers exactly what you expect short, intense and tight platforming experience. Game's world is divided into four zones, each with its own visual and musical theme, and so the player has to traverse them by collecting upgrades and discovering new shortcuts on the map. This is crucial for your mission, because in a classic Metroidvania style, you can't reach certain places unless you've upgraded yourself with required ability, like for example double jump, or triple jump, or quadruple jump, <laughs> Seriously, you guys, you have a quadruple jump in this game. This is awesome, right? Efficient navigation is also important, because with a few exceptions, and I'm talking about boss battles, for example, there's only one spawn point in the center of the map where you begin the game. So each time you'll die, and trust me, you'll die plenty of times, you're gonna start from the same place. But of course, it's not a punishment for the player. It is just the mechanics that motivates you to exploration, right? Going further into deliverance nooks and crannies is going to be more and more difficult. With responsive controls and unlockable skills, you have to prove yourself with precision, timing and speed. Yeah, especially during boss battles. So this is what you can call a full old-school retro experience. Not only because of beautiful pixel art graphics or the 8-bit music that pumps the rhythm and the atmosphere right into your ears, but it's the gameplay that makes it a complete and whole experience. You will die. A lot, and you're gonna have to learn and memorize concrete moves to proceed, but in the end, the satisfaction will be granted. Trust me. If you're the fan of this style of platforming, then we probably don't have to convince you to play this game, but if you didn't try this formula yet, then we highly, highly recommend you to check out Trash Quest. This is the essence of the genre, packed in a small and accessible box, which makes it perfect opportunity for you to taste. Trash Quest comes out this December on Xbox consoles and on Nintendo Switch. And that is all from me, thank you for watching guys, and make sure to follow our social media and this channel for more videos and materials from awesome games. Stay tuned and see ya!